Okay. So, the next question that we got on the menu today is find the derivative of um, f of x equals 1 over x. And we want to find the derivative using the limit uh, definition. Okay, so the limit definition is as follows. So we have f prime of x. That just means the derivative of x. Derivative. This is equal to the limit as h approaches 0 for f of x plus h minus f of x, just on its own, all divided by h. And um, you can check out other places on one class if you want a more uh, more detailed breakdown of where this equation comes from. Okay, so uh, let's uh, sub in f of x is 1 over x, and let's see what we get. So this will be limit h approaches 0. I know it's a little bit painful sometimes to be writing limit uh, so many times, but you do have to. Uh, there's no easy way around that. Minus 1 over x, I'll divide by h. Okay, so um, let's get um, on the top of this limit, let's get these fractions to um, be more compatible with each other. So let's give them the same denominator lim h approaches to 0. So we're going to have um, x over x plus h, and that's x, minus x plus h all over um, x plus h, x. Okay, and this whole thing divided by h what, what I did here is um, I just did a cross multiplication on the terms here. So the x, there's an x up here, an x down here. Multiply them in, and x plus h multiplied on the top here, and x minus x plus h uh, multiplied on the bottom here. So that means these two have the same denominator, meaning that uh, we can now just like have their numerators directly agree with each other, uh, like this. h approaches 0 of x minus x plus h all over x plus h multiplied x all over h okay and um, we're, we're gonna have here is um, we can rewrite this as like like this lim h approaches to 0 and this is equal to well x minus x minus h over x plus h times x multiplied by 1 over h um, I, that's just what I mean by um, this whole thing divided by h we can just multiply the whole thing by 1 over h and um, hey well you see here positive x negative x they zero each other so um, we can rewrite this. We can further keep going here, and we'll see like limit of h approaches zero is going to be um, just negative h over x plus h multiplied by x multiplied by h. Hey, when you look at that, the h downstairs, the h upstairs, they neutralize each other. So we just get uh, the limit of h approaches zero of negative 1 over x plus h multiplied by x. Now if we do a direct substitution, h equals 0, so ds, direct sub, we're just going to have negative 1 over x squared. And that's going to be our final answer, f prime of x. Okay, so originally we had um, f of x is equal to 1 over x, um, if we wanted to do the derivative nor, uh, the other way, like um, with the power thing, we know that this is equal to x to the power of negative 1. Uh, the derivative of f of x is equal to negative 1 multiplied by x to the power of negative 2, which is equal to negative 1 over x squared, which is precisely the same thing as we got with um, the limit definition. So 
Yeah, that would be how you find the derivative of 1 over x using the limits. Sounds good. And uh, yeah, it came to the same conclusion and did the same thing and had the same success. Cool. So the above solution is good and we proved that. Isn't math exciting?